We are at Hawaii's first ever H-Mart located here in Kaka'ako. We are here in Korean food supermarket, so of course we have to get Korean food. Korean fried chicken. Finger looking good, guys. You gotta use your fingers. Come on now. It's more for that comfort feeling. Like if you want to come here and wrap yourself in a nice army stew blanket. All in one. You can even get dessert here. So you guys make sure you stay till the end of this video because we are getting dessert. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day so far. Happy Aloha Friday, by the way. Yay! If you are wondering, why is it so dark out? Since when do we ever film at night? That's because we got a special surprise for you all. You guys ready to see? What could it be? Look at our new gear! Can y'all even see that? Look how awesome this is. If you guys are part of the Soggy Fry Gang, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And guys, we want to give a big shout out to Valentino. Thank you so much for making us these t-shirts. They're super cool. Soggy Fry Gang. Even though I'm not team Soggy Fries, I really love this design, guys. And this is awesome. We're going to link his info in the description below if you guys are interested in designing your own shirts, your own logo, and if you, you know, Want any new branding for yourself? He's the guy to go to. Make sure you guys check it out down in our description. And oh my God, I'm like so excited and so happy. This is cool. So they're not for sale yet. Don't get too excited, Foodie Ohana. It's just a sample for now. If you guys like something like this, drop a comment down below. And yeah, we got a little carried away meeting up with Valentino and his wife, Julie. Really awesome meeting you folks. And Yeah, and thank you guys so much for taking your time taking the time out of your day to come meet with us and give us these awesome shirts. So designing excited. This, designing this, this is amazing. You guys will see it more in better lighting, but let's get to eating. We got a pretty cool place we want to take you guys. And for today's video, we are going to get some awesome food court food, which actually this food court is pretty new. We're going to take you guys along with us on today's foodie adventure and let's get going because we're super starving, right? Yeah, and it's drizzling already. So let's get going. Let's go. So we walked around the food mart part. Oh, we walked around the H Mart, H Mart food court, and just taking a look at what looks good around here. And I noticed they have a Giovanni shrimp chop. Did a video on them already. Don't get the spicy. I don't know if you all remember that. Looks like a lot of Korean food, chicken place, fried chicken place. You know we love fried chicken. There was a Japanese place too, but this is a Korean mart, so it just made sense to us to get Korean food. Anyway, we ended up getting a couple of dishes here. Ready. I don't know if you guys can hear that too. It's pretty cool when you order a food, when you order your food at establishments, they call out your number when it's ready. And they also call out the establishment too, so you don't get confused. So they'll be like, let's say for example, you ordered at K-Town, which is like a Korean food place. They'll say K-Town, order number and da da da. So I think that's very convenient. That's really smart. So you ain't gotta wait in front of that establishment the whole time, you know what I mean? You can find your seat, wait for your number to be called and then pick up your food. Okay, you ready? Looks like Amanda just got back. What did we get? We got the spread, y'all. There's a lot of food lot of and food. we're really, 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 really starving. Oh, what is that? And then we got this thing was called like the army stew or something like Simon. Well, we'll explain it. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot guys, but oh man. 
I don't know if we told the food to Hana yet. We're at H Mart. I did, yeah? No idea. We're at H Mart Food Court. Oh, can you guys see the shirt? Valentino's design here in all its glory. <laughs> I don't know if it was a good idea to be wearing white tonight, bro, because there's a lot of flavor that's about to get on here. Hopefully not. All right, nice meeting you guys. <laughs> uh, some subscribers from LA. Awesome. Oh, and shout out to the subscribers we met in the parking lot. It was cool meeting you guys too. Oh yeah, in the parking lot as well. Okay, what should we start off with first? So we got, so one, for today's video, we are here in H Mart Food Court to show you guys around. This is actually our first time dining here. We've never been to any of these establishments before. So we got three different places. The first place we went to was... The Korean uh, fried chicken, left wing. Oh, yeah. Left wing, fried Korean fried chicken. We are here in Korean food supermarket. So of course we have to get Korean food and we're super excited to try it. So we got their order of boneless wings with their chili soy garlic flavoring and of course a fried chicken sandwich because why not? When you're at a fried chicken joint and you see fried chicken, you know you gotta have it. So they had two flavors in their fried chicken. It was Nashville hot and spicy, no, creamy garlic, I believe. And um, yeah, I guess we've had these past couple of nights eating at home, we had some spicy food. So we're taking a little break on that spice train, but we do love garlic. So we got that and I chose, oh, you get to choose a side too with your wings. So I chose the pickled radish because you know, palate cleanser guys, come on now, we're not noobs. Okay guys, let's, let's give it a go because I'm literally starving, okay? Right, let's try the boneless wings first then because, oh, look at this. I can smell the soy chili garlic. Oh my goodness. She said this is their most popular flavor. So the first thing we're eating is the chicken? Yeah, I, wanna, I wanted to try the boneless chicken first. It smells amazing. I'm just gonna use my fingers. This is, this is finger looking good, guys. You gotta use your fingers, come on now. Oh, it's not too crunchy looking. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm, really good. The chicken is nice and moist. And that umami flavor. It's not like a earth-shattering crunch, but the crunch is there. Mm. The crunch is there, nice and juicy chicken morsels. I wish there was a little bit more of that garlic sweet flavor, but these are pretty good. It's not too salty, it's not overpowering. I can keep eating these. I just really like how the sauce really clings onto this chicken. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be a crunchy piece. I got the one with a lot of batter on it. Can you guys see that? Look at all that glistening, crispy batter. Some sesame seeds on there. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh yeah, that was the one. I'm impressed by that chicken. I'd recommend that. Ooh. The daikon has a kick. Daikon radish. Oh, the angle is really bad. <laughs> Sorry guys, we had to change up the angle. It just was not working. But anyway. Right, let's get into the sandwich from Left Wing as well. The fried chicken sandwich. Because, oh man, this bad gal here. Bad mother clucker. Looks amazing. <laughs> nice brioche bun. Here we go. Mm. How is it? Good? Mm-hmm. Really good. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think Popeyes could be beat. I think this beats Popeyes chicken sandwich. Oh, Yvonne is so unlucky. We invited her today, but she already ate. She said, "Look how look how thick this thing is." Oh my goodness! Oh, full of sweet, garlicky, saucy goodness. Nice briny pickles. Crispy, crunchy chicken. It's even crispier than the boneless chicken. Oh, this thing is so good. It's addicting, guys. I actually really, really like their chicken. The mm. chicken here is really good. Why haven't we not come here before? Mmm. Mmm. There it is. The first casualty. Amanda's jeans. I just don't want to ruin our shirt. The coleslaw in here and with the pickles, it just makes it. Dare I say, I think I like the sandwich more than the actual chicken wings. It's a really good sandwich. It really balances out because it's crunchy, it's savory, it's creamy, it's a little bit sweet from that brioche one. 
Okay. If you guys come here, left wing Korean fried chicken, do yourselves a favor, get the fried chicken sandwich. Try it out. Try the Nashville one if you like spicy food, because I'm really curious. I want to try that one next time. Since we're on the sandwich train here, we also went to a sandwich shop called Tea Skit Toast Skit. <laughs> They're out of boba for today, but they're known for their Texas toast sandwiches. Look how big these things are. They are massive. Okay, so this one is the bulgogi kimchi flavor, and then this one is egg and bacon flavor. Oh, they look like nice fluffy scrambled eggs. This looks like something straight out of a magazine. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, like you just clipped it out of a magazine, a food art magazine. Okay, which one first? So the kimchi bulgogi one is uh, what the lady was saying is the number one choice. Mm -hmm. And that one is what Amanda wanted. She said it looked good. So we'll try that. Oh, this thing, this thing is so big, I can't even hold it. Look at this thing. How am I going to fit this in my mouth? I don't know, guys. Just got to go for it. I Maybe been, the corner. Maybe the yeah, corner. I haven't been this apprehensive taking a bite in a while. Whoa, ooh, wow, that bread looks really soft. Mm. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Whoa, look wow. at the bottom, it's all soaking. Look at that, wow. Man, this thing is so good. This thing is so meaty, juicy, savory, kimchi y. You gotta um, try this. I don't oh know how God. you, yeah. You know. Hey, wait, I got this. You should have put this on a plate first or something. Oh my goodness. Oh. I was teasing Amanda, and now my pants is drenched in kimchi sauce. Look, it's going down my arms. Can you guys see that? This thing is no joke. Okay, guys, when I ordered this, I thought, oh, it's gonna be like a small, like a half sandwich. It's not gonna be that heavy. That's why I ordered two. Man, this is actually really heavy. Like, I'm feeling it. Mm. I only got the filling in that, but. It's so big. Amanda mm. could barely fit it in her mouth. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but this is actually really, really good. I really like the flavor. And I'm not really a bulgogi person because I feel like it's a little too sweet, but this is really good. I think the pillowy sweet Texas toast makes up for it. It's like Texas style toast, but sweet like a Hawaiian sweet bread. It's mm -hmm. really good. The way that the toast soaks up all the juices. I do want to try the bacon and cheese. I feel like that one would be more savory. Oh my mm. goodness, we are making a mess. I, I'm so sorry. Oh gosh. Ooh, there's some cheese. Right, while Amanda's enjoying that, I'm gonna take out the other one. Mm. This is not one hand friendly. You need two hands. Okay, this one's a little more manageable. This is a little more petite, a little more cutesy. Mm. This is like the breakfast sandwich that dreams are made of. Is that right? If you like egg and bacon, definitely. This is like the breakfast sandwich that breakfast lovers' dreams are made out of. Look at this beauty. Is there anything more beautiful than this for breakfast? If you could eat this every day, you wouldn't even go to McDonald's anymore and get an egg McMuffin. You just get this. Oh, nice fluffy eggs. Okay. I don't even know where to go. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> How is it? That is freaking good too. The eggs are as fluffy and pillowy as the bread. I know Amanda doesn't really like fluffy eggs, but I think she'll like this one. It's really good. I guess I'll go for the bottom. Oh god. I really got anything. It's like some kind of a uh, sweet sriracha sauce. Or oh, like a spicy uh, mayo sauce. Mm. These sandwiches are a meal in its own. Mm. You know what's good? Well, Amanda hasn't made a comment yet. She's still going at it. I will say though, guys, they kind of skimped on the bacon. I wish there was more bacon. The eggs needs a little bit of salt but overall very good sandwich. The sauce is actually very light. I don't think it's spicy sriracha though. It kind of just tastes like a ketchup mayo mixture. Oh, maybe. I guess I got tricked by the color. There's cheese, but the cheese doesn't really give it anything, I feel like. But the way that this is so pillowy soft, the eggs are soft, like how he said, very good. How should we go about this? Do we keep going or do we move on? Let's move on. Oh gosh. This is proving to be very, very dirty. Long day to wear white. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, if you guys are like this kind of design logo, if you, you really like this shirt, let us know. We're planning on selling merchandise soon. A lot of you guys have been asking us. Mm. All right. K-Town Eatery, oh, what is it? K-Town. Korean foods. <laughs> K-Town Korean foods. And we got something what they call an army stew. It looks like just a, like a- chicken in there. 
mismatch of instant ramen noodles and uh, spicy Korean soup. It comes with sides too, guys. And a thing of rice. You know, sausage, kimchi, looks like carrots, onions, sliced pork belly. This tastes like uh, whatever you have left in the kitchen kind of soup. I can't imagine making this at home when I'm too lazy to get food. And this is all I have. You know, instant ramen noodle, the spicy bowl kind. And I just cut up some like sausage, slice up some of that, throw it in here, jalapenos. Mm, there's like some luncheon meat, spam. Oh, there's spam in there. We're gonna try a soup. I think the soup is what makes it. Mm. And guys, I am a big fan of Korean instant noodles, so I really want to devour the noodles. Mm. And guys, it's becoming fall. Right now, it's not October yet. It's actually still September, but it's getting cold and rainy, y'all. So, filling up on some nice, warm soup. Yeah, just like putting that soup, that spicy soup, all over the rice and just taking bites of it. Huh? Very filling, very satisfying. Hey. You want to say what's up, man? And Oh, yeah. we, have a, we have a lot of good uh, recommendations for y'all that we tried. Oh, <laughs> oh really? thank you so much. Yeah, thank, you yeah. oh, yeah. thank you guys. Oh, thank you guys. Were you guys the one in the parking lot earlier? Yeah, so oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're like plan, trying to plan this video, like, oh, where are we going to do the yeah. intro and stuff? So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all the way from the Bay Area. Shout oh. out if you're watching this. <laughs> okay, guys, I got to get in on that noodle. Ooh. Oh, my God. It's filled with noodles. For me? Okay, wait. Let, yeah, let's... Uh, Get you away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's the instant noodles. Like, ask Amanda. We go eat. We, we go to uh, Shibuya to eat. All you can eat hot pot. And for some reason, among the choices of noodles, I always get the instant noodle. Like to me, it's just a nostalgic factor. Something about instant, you know, like cup noodles, that kind of noodles. And I like mine al dente. Yeah, this is not gonna be al dente. Yeah. But I don't mind non al dente noodles. So here we go. Oh, it's too hot. Oh my goodness, guys. So what's your favorite so far? I think my favorite so far is between this bulgogi sandwich and the left wing chicken sandwich because I honestly didn't think it would be better than like Popeyes or like other chicken sandwiches. So far, I think it's one of my favorite chicken sandwiches I've had so far. It's that good. I have to agree. I was gonna say the same exact thing. Those are the two best things so far. I really like this army stew, but I feel like if this was like, like you, I don't you know. You can make it at home. Yeah, you know? I mean, that's what people do, right? Well. Like it's more for that comfort feeling. Like if you wanna come here and wrap yourself in a nice army stew blanket, here. Yeah. Or douse yourself with it and stain your pants like I did. Don't do that, just joking. It's just so hearty. Well, well I think that's a little too much with the noodles and everything and then the side of rice too. I would have been fine without the rice. That's like too much rice. This meal in itself could feed both of us. Come here for the sandwiches, guys. They're the real stars of the show here. Oh, that one is so good. I'm gonna come back for that Nashville one next time. This I feel like it's good, but it's not like extremely good compared to the bulgogi one. Dang, this is a lot of food. Yeah. We overestimated. We were starving, guys. We, this is our first and last meal of the day. If you guys are in the area and you wanna just get a quick dinner, you wanna just do kind of like a takeout style, you don't really have to sit in and worry about, you know, tipping or waiters, waitresses, hostesses or anything. This is a really cool place to just stop by and get some food. All in one, you can even get dessert here. So you guys make sure you stay till the end of this video because we are getting dessert. Wonder what it could be. It's like I can eat more, but I know at this point I'm like forcing myself. It's becoming a Korean food eating competition at this point. I'm a fan of the spam in here. The spam makes I'm it. I'm telling you, this is like the what's left in the kitchen sink kind of dish. I think the reason why I like it so much and I can't stop eating it is because I don't know about y'all or about you guys, but growing up in Hawaii, you live on spam and instant noodle. Is that bad to say? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I grew up on instant noodle, like um, Mama Simon, uh, instant noodle or... Yeah, I always thought that like when people say 
instant noodle is for like poor college students. I'm like, what are they talking about? We eat instant noodle all the time. That was like family dinner twice a week. But here in Hawaii, we always eat instant noodle and pair it with spam. Simon also with spam. Oh, so. You gotta throw in one egg in there too. You know, you know. And sometimes when we had extra kimchi at home, I put kimchi in too. Dessert segment coming up. <laughs> Man, Foodie Ohana, telling you a couple of things you learned real quick about filming at night. Places are closing. And the lighting. And the lighting, yeah, exactly. So we went to Black Sheep Creamery Ice Cream. Ooh. Right before they closed, we were able to sneak in some scoops. Shout out to the gentleman helping us. You were awesome, one cool bro. All right, he gave us hefty scoops too. This is a single scoop, guys. Look how big this is. And mine's is the daily special. I think he said almond and almond cookie. It really does taste like almond, and I love almonds. So this is really good. Oh, mm. That's good too. I got the Joe Get Nuts. So it's basically coffee cream ice cream mm. with macadamia nut brownie bits. Mmm, that's really good. Black Sheep Creamery in the H Mart food court. Yeah, they were closing up, but they, they closed at nine, guys. So we didn't want to hold up anyone and stay in there to eat. So. Oh, and guys, if you guys do go to Black Sheep Creamery, you guys know that they have some really awesome names for their ice cream. The mint one I originally wanted, but they actually sold out was. I forgot what <laughs> but it was oh. a really cool name. Look at this huge chunk of brownie. So I'm having a little difficulty. And guys, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Let us know down below. Ooh, that's a good one. I really like like cherry flavors. Huge ass chunk of brownie. I like cherry, like Cherry Garcia. And I also really like mint chip. He likes Rocky Road and coffee. I also like Rocky Road and coffee. Honestly, I like pretty much any ice cream flavor except for like the really sweet ones like like cotton candy or like strawberry. I don't, I'm not a fan of those, but let us know. What are your guys' favorite? Yeah, growing up, my mom's favorite was mint chip. So I grew up eating mint chip. That was my favorite for a long time. But you know, you get kind of tired of it after a while. Definitely rock the road. So mine kind of, I said almond cookie, but I don't know. I feel like the cookie part, the almond cookie part's not too strong. It kind of just tastes, tastes like Amaretto flavor. Oh yeah, definitely Amaretto. It's like, good though, but yeah. it tastes like that kind of like almond flavor when you eat um, almond tofu. Oh, what is that called? Yeah, almond tofu. Yeah, almond tofu with mm -hmm. the cocktail fruits for all you Chinese subscribers out there watching. I like that their single scoop is huge. Yeah. A lot of times I need to get like a double scoop to get enough ice cream, but this scoop is huge. Hefty. Mm. Yeah, this is like three scoops. This is bigger than the little mini haagen pint. This is like a half pint. This is like a meal on its own. This is like a cookie and creams in a cup. This is like the entire tray of brownie with a scoop of coffee. No. You lose. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I had, okay guys, I came straight from work. A long, what was that? Ew, is that sewage water? No. The storm drain? No. It's dropping off of people's balcony. You okay? Well, my thumb just really hurts. I'm back at work, but I'm supposed to be limited, but I feel like I've been using my left hand a lot more than I should be doing, which is no good, I know, but oh man, I can't grip this. It's just all over the place. And I got that local seasoning now all over my ice cream. Mm. You guys even see the rain? Is the camera picking it up? Mm -mm. Local seasoning. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us on today's foodie adventure. We had such an awesome time taking you guys along to H Mart and their food court, showing you the awesome Ono grinds. And again, a big shout out to Valentino and his wife, Julie, for creating these awesome t-shirts and being such an awesome supporter of this channel. And we really, really appreciate all of your kind words and taking the time out of your day to meet with us and talk with us. And it was really awesome to meet you guys. And for everyone that we met today too at H Mart, it was really cool meeting you guys. Thank you so much for talking to us. It was cool. Like we mentioned before, guys, if you guys ever see us outside in public filming or even not filming, just cruising, say hi, you know? We'd love yeah. to just stop and chat for a little bit. Or... And the reason why we really like talking to you guys is we feel so connected to you guys. You know, you're part of our foodie ohana. You're part of our food community. And we really want to embrace our community and just have conversations with you guys. It'd be really cool. And maybe one day doing a meetup to meet all of you guys. 
So if you guys see us around, make sure you say hi. And if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right underneath this video. All you got to do is click it. It's free. It takes one second and it really helps us out. And come join our foodie ohana. Thanks again and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Soggy fries. Uh-uh, not for me. Bye guys. One hand bandit. Shit, sure, I had rice on my crotch. For some reason, among the oh fucker. Oh, we were you gonna put it. I was gonna put it in my mouth. Oh, dessert segment coming up. Wait, say that more clear. I think that's the best we can do. The subscribe button is... It, uh, do we even say where H Mart is? Are we that fail? Oh yeah. So guys, this is H Mart. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this and put it in the beginning.